Dilma founder Meryl J. Fernando believes that every individual and business has an obligation to ensure that a sustainable interaction with the environment is maintained at all times. Recognizing this vision, Dilma Conservation recently initiated the publication of numerous volumes on Sri Lanka's abundant biodiversity with the aim of creating awareness, sharing knowledge and making available information on our country's flora, fauna and the indigenous and nomad communities to the general public. Jaiva Vividhatve Sri Lanka Urmaya, our biological heritage, a collaboration with the Young Biologists Association, brings to life the diverse biological landscape of Sri Lanka and its abundant beauty and uniqueness. Dilma Conservation sponsored the publication of Sri Lanka's Forests, Nature at Your Service by the Sri Lanka Association for the Advancement of Science due to its significant contribution to identifying, raising awareness and understanding of the value of Sri Lanka's array of forests. The publication, Indigenous Communities in Sri Lanka, the Vaddhas, chronicles in detail the lives of the coastal Vaddhas of the country. For years, given very little recognition, the coastal Vaddhas had integrated over time with the mainstream communities in the East and were leading obscure lives with little recognition of their true identities. Therefore, the publication and the studies have been presented at a crucial and decisive time for the community. Traditional communities in Sri Lanka, the Ayikuntaka, documents the lives and livelihood methods of the Ayikuntaka, their caste system, religious beliefs, court system and traditional medication methods. The publication is based on the scientific studies of Professor Ranjit Bandara and also includes several case studies following the community's way of life. An introduction to common spiders of Sri Lanka could be identified as the first general guide to the spiders of Sri Lanka and offers scientific and factual information in a simple and easy to read manner in order to help readers overcome the general fear and animosity towards these gentle creatures whose existence is of vital use to humans. Another attempt at battling a local animal phobia, recognizing deadly venomous snakes from harmless snakes of Sri Lanka, attempts to portray snakes in their role as a vital part of our ecosystem, while trying to dismiss the misconception of these creatures as being deadly and dangerous. Due to our widespread fear and loathing, many harmless snake species are inadvertently killed by humans. This publication strives to change this attitude in its readership. A unique addition to this collection of volumes is the field guide on pest management strategies as alternatives to methyl bromide in Sri Lanka. The book highlights the perilous consequences of utilizing methyl bromide as a pesticide and discusses environmentally safe alternatives in pest management in Sri Lanka. This non-profit initiative by Dilma strives to offer contemporary data, imagery and a global perspective on the fragile biodiversity and noteworthy heritage of Sri Lanka in order to educate and encourage the public to conserve nature and empower the minority communities of the island.